Uh, Tour de l'Avenir is on this week. Um, basically the premier race for under 23s. And here we have the first sprint stage, only three hours long, Max Cantor takes the win. And anyway, we're gonna go on Straves and just look at what an under 23 race is. So we have three hours long. These are sprinters, 270 weight of average power. So I'd say about 280 normalized. Um, this guy again, 280 weighted average power, maybe 300 normalized. I guess he weighs a little bit more. Yeah, he does weigh, well, actually not that much. He probably only weighs 60 odd kilos. Cause look, 5.57 watts per kilo, 365 watts. Probably only weighs 63 kilos. That's actually, that's odd. Um, maybe is his weight wrong? I don't know. And Rui Oliveira again, 273 weighted average power, maybe 300 normalized or 290. So, you know, nothing absolutely crazy out of the question. Um, these guys, for them, I'd say most of their thresholds are high 380s, um, maybe 400 threshold for the very top. So you can see we have a nice course here, pretty rolling, and then there's some finishing circuits which have some elevation. And you can see here there's a little lip on the bottom. So here are the, the top three sprinters apart from Max Cantor. So we have Alan Banajek, Damian Tuz, and Uri Oliveira. So we go to Banajak. Um, so you can see he conserved pretty energy pretty well, having the lowest weighted average power out of any of them. Um, and you can see here, there's not actually too many spikes. Uh, under 23 aces aren't normally very well controlled, um, but we'll have a look at the sprint. So you can see he averaged 277 watts in the last six minutes, um, which is, you know, uh, 322, sorry, for the last five minutes. So that's actually decent. Um, I believe this guy, for the last bit, he averaged a lot more power. Um, he was averaging more like 400 for the last four minutes. Um, and this guy, again, I believe his power was a lot more in the last couple of seconds, which is really, you know, you want to try and save as much energy as possible, obviously, for the last part. His was 300 watts for the last seven minutes. So, you know, again, he conserved energy pretty well. So poor, poor Damien Thuze uh, was losing a lot of energy. Uh, maybe he had bad positioning. I'm not sure. Footage of this is very hard to come by. But anyway, you can basically see they're going in 70 k's an hour and then just started the sprint, probably in their biggest gear, and just tried to hold on because you can see the, the cadence is going down a lot. Um, they hit a max of 12.59, and for the sprint, we're sort of talking about 850 watts for 30 seconds. But if we really go for the, the main peak sprint, um, for 20 seconds, almost 1,000 watts. And that's, that's pretty solid. Um, for this guy, you can see for 15, 16 seconds, he's doing 1,100 watts, which is 17 watts per kilo for 16 seconds, which is pretty nuts. And then for my favorite, for my last guy, old Uri Oliveira, he had a couple more spikes, but again, 780 watts for 28 seconds is quite crazy, including some freewheeling. If we just do the sprint, it's more like 800 watts for 20 seconds. And even then, he sort of had parts where he's going full gas and parts where he wasn't, you know, 1,000 watts at least for five seconds. For five seconds, he's probably doing more like... Um, you know, closer to 1100 watts, which is basically the level you have to be at. So you basically have to be able to cruise through the peloton, not using very much energy, and then just bang out up to probably 12, 1300 max, and then just holding the power as long as possible. Um, pretty interesting first stage. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, we have no race highlights as they are strictly controlled. Uh, but yeah, we will have some good races in the future, like in terms of um, the parkour. Um, we will hopefully see Ivan Souza win the Tour de l'Avenir. That is my prediction. Got a couple other guys. I'm not sure if anyone important lost time today. Looks like no one really lost time at all. Actually, yeah. Well, a couple of people lost time at the very end, but yeah, no one important lost time, I don't believe. So that's going to be pretty interesting for the next couple of days. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope this was informative and you now know what the sort of under 23s are riding out the sprinters. Um, you know, 1300 watts almost. Um, the sprint at the end of a stage is very solid. So anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.